So here's a truth that no one wants to tell you because no one wants to burst your bubble. The fact is, we don't actually have a grand purpose in life, at least not in the way we think. In other words, you can't really achieve it in the way you think. Let's say you want to be an inspirational life coach who moves people in significant ways. You want that to be your purpose in life. Well, the manifestation of that is not really your part to do. That's actually God's part, or Source's part, or the infinite intelligence's part, or whatever name that you have for God. And this is how it actually works. There is source energy, a collective energy that swirls around, collecting information, sensing people's developments and their hearts. Our hearts, our soul, is always connected to the collective infinite energy. In its infinite wisdom, it decides that it wants to give birth to something in the world. For example, have a certain message come through, a message so strong that it'll wake up people in masses. Now, as the energy of the message grows ripe, it'll look for avenues that could be used to let it out and deliver. In this case, through people who are ready, people who are in the frequency to serve as avenues for the message to come through. That's why you see at certain periods in time, people from all over the world spring up with similar messages at similar times. Discoveries and inventions that change history are made in this way as well. For example, Jack Kilby and Robert Noyce invented the microchip within six months of each other. There were several people who invented the television all at the same time. Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison came up with the electric power current around the same time. And we all know Bill Gates and Steve Jobs innovated the personal computer around the same time as well. Now, there are countless of examples where multiple independent discoveries were made around the same time. The point of all this is that the grand purpose we're looking for, it's not ours to achieve. The grand, higher purpose that changes worlds is determined and accomplished by God, Spirit, Source, Universe, etc. Our job is to live with our hearts and stay connected to Source, to Spirit, to God, to Universe, and be ready for the messages to come through us. It's our job to move away from our analytical head and become finely tuned to our heart and to our soul. And that's it. That's where our job ends. We don't try to achieve some kind of outcome. That's not our job.